This is my desk where all the magic happens. But what should I put on it for maximum effectiveness, productivity, creativity, health? It's time to improve my desk time. See what I did there? In this video, I'll give you 10 practical tips on how you can improve your workspace immediately. All of these are backed by science and my own personal experience. This is how I keep my workspace and it works wonders for me. Number one is about the placement of your laptop. In 2022, it's difficult to imagine living life without some kind of screen. You don't want to have it off to the side so that you'll be squishing yourself like this, twisting yourself, that's no good. But having it just in the middle isn't enough. The screen is lower than where your neckline is. So you want to bring your laptop up to your neckline. You can prop it up on some books, a box, or there are even these handy little laptop razors that you can get from Amazon or whatever store. But you also don't want to be working on your keyboard like this. So we have a detachable keyboard and mouse. But next tip is chair. You're going to be spending up to eight hours a day sitting on this one piece of furniture. So you really want to get this right. What's most important when you're selecting your chair is that it can be adjustable in terms of height, also back. You want to adhere to the 90 degree rule so that your torso and legs create 90 degrees, your knees are at a 90 degree angle and your ankles as well. On top of that, when you're sitting at your desk, you're going to want your elbows to be a 90 degree angle as well. When you have the 90 degree rule mastered, you will have found the ideal position for your body to feel the least possible strain. That way throughout the day, if at any time you feel the need to switch up your pose or, or lie, lie back or switch something up, that's really a signal that you need to take a break. And one thing that can help you to remember to take breaks is desk time. Smooth transition, huh? It can track your time, it knows how much time you've been spending, and every 52 minutes or however long of an interval you set it to, it can give you a pop-up and say that it's time for a break. Number three is lighting. Without a good lighting setup, your eyes will become tired faster, you will become more sluggish, and you won't be able to work as effectively. So it's very important to have quality lighting setup and rig to help you keep working efficiently throughout the day. Thank you. A few rules when setting up your lights. You should have equal lighting throughout your room. Your desk should be in the same brightness as everything else around it. The US General Services Administration recommends 500 lumens for every square meter of space. Now that does sound very complicated, but when it comes down to it, it just means you need a 35 watt incandescent light bulb for every six by six square feet of space or three by three square meters. Additionally, natural light is actually what's going to help you feel most productive. So if you can, seat yourself near a window. Now let's talk about light temperature. There are different kinds of temperatures. There's the orange and yellow lights that are warm lights, and they are used more for kind of relaxation spaces and that sort of thing. Those are probably not that what will help you work at your most efficient level. What you want to be looking for is a cool blue or cool white light. That will keep your mind fresh and lively throughout the duration of your workday. When done right, you'll feel the effects on your workday immediately, guaranteed. Tip number four is plants. They reduce stress, they increase productivity, they reduce absences in the workplace, reduce sickness, uh, increase creativity, they clean the freaking air. I rest my case. Almost any kind of plant works well for the workplace. Most people tend to go for succulents, which can include cactuses and aloe uh, because they're very easy to care for. Other popular choices are rubber plants, peace lilies. These are all great options because they tend to do well in limited sunlight spaces as well. Number five is the to-do list. What does a to-do list have to do with my workspace, you ask? Well, everything. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to have your to-do list nearly at your fingertips throughout the day. Even when your stupid coworker Philip won't stop bothering you with his stupid dad jokes, you'll always be able to glance over at your to-do list and remember where you were. Stop bothering me, Philip! If it's on your phone, you can just prop it up. It can also be on your computer or you can kick it old school and write it down on a piece of paper. 
Now, where was I? Oh, right, distractions. Number five. No, number six. <laughs> It's easy to get distracted by almost anything during your workday. That's why I feel that as tidy a desk as possible is desired. Just the things that you need, even having a clock can be too distracting. But one thing that could help might be a little do not disturb sign in case you're sharing a workspace with uh, someone or working from home to let your family know that you are not available during your deep work hours. Number seven is easy access to water. When you're working a long bouts of time, energy drinks and sugary drinks are actually not what you want. What you should be drinking is good old agua. Having water easily in reach is key to keep yourself hydrated and your brain working at key functionality throughout your workday. Equip yourself with a cup, position yourself close to a water cooler or kitchen sink or what might that be to refill your cup throughout the day. At this point, there are so many articles in research expounding the benefits of drinking water that I don't have to explain this to you, I'm sure. You all know that you should be drinking probably more water. So bottoms up. Number eight is paper and pens. Now I understand that your work might be all totally digital at this point, but there are some things that you just need to write out. For that, you should always have on hand pen and some paper. At this point, you might not even be writing down words. A simple doodle can help increase your concentration, unleash some creativity and that flow of work if you're feeling blocked at any point. So doodle away, my friend, doodle away. Number nine is a distant view. You know how the saying goes, an apple a day, uh, a distant stare, a day keeps your vision quite fair? Yeah, it's a saying, but the point is that your eyes are also surrounded by tiny little muscles. And for them to not get tired and also to save your vision, you will want to, to refocus your eyes to the distance every once in a while. So if you can position yourself near a window so that you can look outside and focus distantly on some sort of trees or a building, or if you're indoors, you can also put up a poster somewhere on the other end of the room so that you have something to glance up at. Doing this every 10 to 15 minutes will keep your optometrist very happy. And 10 is desk time. Well, do you really need desk time? I mean, it's not mandatory, but it sure is nice to have. And it does help structure your workday. It reminds you when to take breaks. It shows you how you've been spending your time. It shows you what's distracted you the most throughout the day. In essence, it's an amazing tool to keep track of your productivity and take control of your time and how you spend it. And it has a free trial, so you might as well go and give it a try. I use it every single day and uh, it helps me, so it might help you too. Shameless promotion is out of the way. Now I am pretty happy with my workspace and I'm feeling those creative juices flowing and I'm ready to get to work. So I'll see you next time. Bye.